Hello everybody, we have really big updates today on the second stimulus checks and the second stimulus package. Stimulus checks are about to be approved. We have confirmation from top government officials. Let's discuss the details in this video. We'll also cover unemployment, stimulus for those on social security, and a quick update on today's front page news as well. Do you think Congress should stop getting paychecks until they approve stimulus checks? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Andrew and thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Don't forget to like this video if you like this content and subscribe. I'll be posting updates almost daily. Okay, we're going to discuss stimulus checks in just two minutes, but first we're going to cover a quick update on front page news. I'd also like to thank my sponsor Webull. They are one of the fastest growing and most trusted stock brokerages in the world. And in a time when we all need the money more than ever, they have partnered with me to provide two to four free stocks for my viewers. It's completely free and takes two minutes. All you need to do is open an account using my link. The link is in the description of this video just below the like button. The link will prompt you to enter your email. Then make sure to click on the green button that says get free stocks. You are free to sell the stocks and use the money immediately or hold on to the stocks and begin building your wealth. Just make sure to completely open your accounts in order to get the free stocks. Okay, let's jump into a quick overview of front page news and then we'll get right into stimulus. And as always, I like to be unbiased on this channel, so I'll show you what both Fox News and CNN are saying in order to allow you to come to your own conclusion. Front page Fox News, they continue to slam Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son, for potential tax evasion. And let me know in the comments, guys, do you agree with this report and do you think it should even be talked about? CNN does not cover this pretty much at all. And I just I like to show you both sides to show you the biased. In any case, there is no proof yet of actual tax evasion, but this headline almost tries to tie in Joe Biden and his entire family with this issue. If you see, the article is titled Best Wishes from the Bidens, saying that this is not just a best wish from Hunter Biden, but from the Biden family as a whole, basically insinuating the fact that Joe Biden could be indirectly tied in with this tax evasion, saying that, hey, Hunter Biden could potentially be funneling this money for Joe Biden, almost like a surrogate kind of handling his money. And this article basically highlights the fact that Hunter Biden requested a $10 million transfer from a company in China, which went bankrupt shortly after. So why would a bankrupt company be sending Hunter Biden $10 million? The money never got sent. But long story short, there is no proof yet, but this is the type of narrative that Fox News is pushing. Let me know in the comments whether you agree or disagree or whether you think it's even important. Of course, this is Joe Biden's son, not Joe Biden. But again, a lot of these articles try and kind of tie in Joe Biden by saying the Biden family could have potentially been involved. Kaylee McEnany, the White House press secretary, has also been slamming the liberal media for not covering this at all. And Trump is asking for a potential special counsel to investigate Hunter Biden since his attorney general just resigned. And as you know, the attorney general was originally appointed by Trump, but recently had been disagreeing with him and saying that there was no proof of mass voter fraud. And there were rumors that Trump was going to fire this man and therefore he preemptively resigned. And now that he's resigned, Trump is asking for a special counsel of investigators to hone in on Joe Biden's son. Guys, picture this. Joe Biden, the incoming president, his son is basically being attacked by Trump, by the sitting president. That's drama at its best, okay? But guys, let's take a look at front page CNN and then we'll jump right into stimulus. Front page CNN. This is why Pfizer can't provide more vaccines faster. Now, as you know, a lot of media have been slamming Trump for not pre-ordering enough vaccines to begin with. They say Trump should have ordered much more vaccines to begin with, and now we are potentially going to be in a shortage in the first quarter of 2021. As all of you know, the first people to get this first round of vaccines will be those who work in hospitals as well as those who live in nursing homes. But once that first round is over in the first couple of months, we may not be able to get enough vaccine until late spring or even early summer because other countries have ordered the vaccine ahead of us. And now Pfizer is having a hard time keeping up with demand. They are expected to create billions of doses in this first year. And I know it seems ridiculous. Like, how can you not have enough vaccines during a pandemic, just make as much as possible. Well, billions of vaccines is a really, really large amount, obviously. And there is one thing that Trump is trying to do. Now, the Emergency Defense Act 
allows the president to say, hey, these other businesses, these other sectors, they have to use their resources to help Pfizer quickly manufacture and distribute this vaccine. However, Pfizer has not been very helpful in that process. Now, these these pharmaceutical companies are very secretive with their process and their patents and all those things. And because of this, they are not being very clear as to what resources they even need. But in any case, we hope to have updates soon on what exactly Pfizer needs, and hopefully they will work with the government in order to fast track the manufacturing of this vaccine so we do not end up in a shortage, guys, because that is the last thing we need right now. But besides that, CNN is kind of staying a little out of the politics as far as the front page. They're focusing greatly on this vaccine news. But let me know in the comments, will you get the vaccine as soon as you can? Or are you feeling a little apprehensive and not quite convinced that it's fully safe? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay guys, let's jump right into stimulus. We're probably gonna have stimulus checks soon and you can thank these two men on your screen. Josh Hawley and Bernie Sanders. Yes, a Democrat and a Republican came together and they have pushed the fact that Americans need stimulus checks and let me know in the comments if you agree and let me know if you like Bernie. I know most of us aren't too familiar with Josh Hawley, but hey, as of now, I like this man because he has put stimulus checks back on the table. Now, up until a few days ago, stimulus checks were not going to be included in the next stimulus package, which obviously would have been completely ridiculous. And Mitch McConnell has been supporting all this money for small businesses and for the airlines and it's a little bit of money for unemployment, but he wanted to completely leave out stimulus checks. And then a few days ago, we had the White House say, hey, you know what, let's include $600 stimulus checks. But then we went back and forth between the White House proposal and the bipartisan proposal, which did not include stimulus checks. So we've had a lot of updates, a lot of meetings. And just today, it's been very clear that Bernie Sanders and Josh Hawley said, if we don't include stimulus checks, they will not approve a government spending bill, which will lead to a government shutdown. Guys, so Bernie Sanders and Josh Hawley lit a fire under these congressmen, and now they are going to include stimulus checks. All reports from the White House, from Mitch McConnell, from Pelosi have said, the plan as of now is to include stimulus checks. Now, although Biden wanted to include stimulus checks similar to the CARES Act of $1,200, the initial plan right now is to include stimulus checks between six and $700. And Bernie came out on record to say, you know what, it's not enough. It's still not enough for the people, but for now, we'll take it. And he is on board with a package that includes $600 stimulus checks. Let me know in the comments, guys. Are you happy with that? Would you be happy with a $600 stimulus check? Or is it not enough? Would you still be upset? Well, the only reason Bernie is okay with this is he actually said this. He said, I'm okay with this because I trust that we can work with Joe Biden in January to approve a larger stimulus package. Guys, Biden has been on record saying, this small package is a down payment. And when I'm inaugurated, we will have a big package with a $600 per week unemployment boost, $200 a month for those on social security and $1,200 stimulus checks, as well as student loan freezes, eviction freeze, mortgage payment freeze, and many other things, obviously. Both Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders endorsed the original HEROES Act, which of course was about $3.4 trillion. And let's be clear, Bernie is not happy with this bill, but he says it's enough for now. Guys, and let me know if you agree. He went on to say, you know what? I'm not happy with Pelosi, but I I'm not gonna slam her either. He, he wouldn't slam Pelosi, guys. And let me know in the comments if you like Pelosi. He did say, you know what? These negotiations were not handled well. We started off with a $3.4 trillion HEROES Act, and here we are at a $900 billion bill. He's basically admitting that McConnell won this negotiation. And McConnell is basically getting what he wanted. McConnell said, hey, $500 billion. Now we're at $900 billion when Pelosi wanted over $3 trillion. So let me know in the comments, guys. Do you like McConnell? I have yet to see a single person saying they like Mitch. But let's jump into the details of what's expected to be included in this bill and what has brought, or clo brought us closer to a compromise. Well, Mitch McConnell just today said that we are not leaving. He said that they will not leave the White House until a stimulus plan is passed. And that is putting a lot of pressure on congressmen to approve a package because these people are humans too, believe it or not. I know they don't seem like it. They seem completely detached from reality. 
But these people want to go home to be with their families for the holidays as well. And with Mitch McConnell saying, you know what? We're not leaving. We're going to be here through Christmas, through the new year. We'll sit here on Christmas Day if we don't have a stimulus package approved. That is good news for the American people that need this help because that puts a lot of pressure to get a deal done. Now, you might think to yourself, why is Mitch all of a sudden willing to get a deal done? Why is he all of a sudden digging in and saying, you know what? No, we need a deal after eight months of not being able to get a deal done. Well, this is in his own best interest, guys. He would not do this just out of the kindness of his heart. And obviously, at this point, we know this. We know he's doing this for a reason. Well, it's come to light that Mitch McConnell has acknowledged the fact that senators in Georgia are being crushed by the fact that they have not been able to approve a stimulus package. Now, let me clarify. There are still two Senate seats up for election in Georgia. Most of you probably have heard, if the Democrats win both of those seats on January 5th, they will effectively take control of the Senate, at which point Democrats would control the House, they would control the Senate, and of course the White House with Joe Biden. That would set the stage for a massive stimulus package because both Pelosi, those in the, in the Senate, and Biden want a giant stimulus package. Now, Mitch McConnell isn't necessarily worried just about that big stimulus package, but he does not want to lose control of the Senate because, as you know, controlling the Senate creates a huge roadblock for Democrats to get anything done and gives McConnell a lot of, le a lot of leverage to get what he wants, okay? So he is on record as saying, you know what? Now we need this stimulus package because we can't afford to lose these two Senate seats in Georgia guys okay so he's doing this for his own best interest not for the american people let me know if you agree because personally i do not like him i cannot stand mitch mcconnell and it's because of him that we haven't had a stimulus months ago don't get me wrong pelosi is to blame as well honestly most of these people are to blame the only person i could say that honestly has really wanted large stimulus this whole time is trump of course he's been on record as saying he wants large stimulus but he just he hasn't been able to get the deal done Okay, so we still do not have confirmation of exactly what's in this bill. We don't even have a formal outline of what they talked about last night, but it is speculated that they will include these $600 stimulus checks. They'll still include a $300 per week unemployment boost, but the bad news here is they want to shorten it from what was originally planned. Originally, this boost was supposed to be 16 weeks, which was expected to start in January and last till about April. Now, They've shortened that by four weeks. So now the expectation is if this bill passes, it would last 12 weeks, essentially January, February, March. It's still not fully clear. It could be back paid to late December or start in early January. That's The details are still not clear, but that is to be expected, a shorter unemployment boost extension. It would still include those who normally don't qualify for unemployment, like gig workers, those who are self-employed, and contractors. Now, this bill is also expected to include money for small businesses and money to distribute the vaccine, of course. And they increased the money a little bit. Small businesses were expected to get about $300 billion, but now it's estimated to be about $330 billion. And small businesses are great, guys. People need this money. These mom-and-pop shops, this money would just help them keep their doors open, help them keep people employed. So let me know in the comments if you agree, if you are okay with these small businesses getting this money. It is also expected to include rental assistance. And this is another large part of this package. As millions of people are behind on their rents, this money would not only pay your rents for the month of, it is expected to go back paid for the entire year. The only issue here is that I'm worried that large companies will apply for this as well. So it's still not clear if there will be any kind of restrictions that only allows smaller landlords and smaller renters to get this money. For example, if a giant condo building has a 100 people who haven't paid their rent, I hope they don't get that money. I hope it's, it's you. It's people who can't put food on the table. It's the mom and pop who own a small two-story or a small two-flat house who need this money just to pay their own mortgage. Now, as you know, with the original PPP loans and EDIL loans, a lot of people got the money that really shouldn't have. So that concerns me. And there's not enough money to go around. It's going to be less than $100 billion for rental assistance. But the, overall, that's good news, guys. And we will have updates daily. It is expected that this package might be passed any day. They're expected to write up this bill and come to a vote. It could be in the next 24 to 48 hours. Obviously, these things continuously get delayed. But as of now, their deadline is December 18th. If this bill is not passed, 
and a spending bill is not passed by midnight December 18th, the government will shut down. That, that is to be expected. So we do expect to get a stimulus package this week, and we do expect it to include stimulus checks. And just to point out, your unemployment benefits will lapse even with a new stimulus bill. Now, just to clarify, most people's benefits will end just after Christmas. And as you know, these stimulus packages take weeks to implement. So even if they approve a package tonight, it's going to take three to four weeks to start getting those payments. It, it is expected to be back paid, but you won't have that money in your bank account for a few weeks, guys. So plan accordingly. Save your money as much as you can. I know it's very difficult to do that right now, especially during the holidays. The least they could have done was pass this stimulus weeks ago so the people could have this money before Christmas, guys, after everything we've been through. The last thing we could have had was a little bit of stimulus before the holiday, guys, and it, it really disappoints me that it's come to this. With just nine days left before Christmas, even if this package is passed tonight, we probably won't have this money for a few weeks. But guys, stay strong out there, and guys, I hope you're having a good holiday with all things considered. And hey, if you made it this far into my video, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It really means the world to me, and I really do appreciate every single view. My thoughts go out to each and every one of you during this hardship. I've had so many comments from people who truly deserve the help. And if you're watching this video, you're probably going through a difficult season in your life. Just know that you will get through this and you will be in a better place. Stay strong out there and keep taking steps towards a better tomorrow. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.